hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with nichijou episode number three reaction okay the previous episode more chaos and <laughs> we like you know the main uh, highlights of that, that episode was uh the first one was uh meeting the sister of uh oh my god i again forgot her name my or was it mio i i'm mixing up those two names so much the blue haired girl i think her name was my or no or was it mio <sighs> anyways like you know like i'm i'm like you know mixing their names up so much one is the glasses girl one is the blue haired girl i think the blue haired girl's name it's either my or it's mio i don't remember which it is but he she meets her sister and she uh like you know she is another eccentric person <laughs> and we kind of get a little bit of like you know a thing where she kind of uh does something with that that whole like you know woodcutter story where like it's, is it the gold wood uh wood, wood uh you're gonna axe or is it the silver axe but she does it with a fish <laughs> and after she gives her money the sister like you know actually shows her the original identity and then she like uses a corkscrew like that was funny and uh, another thing that was really uh, oh and the, the next thing that was very hilarious was uh the roll cake section where we get to see that the professor actually made a few other modifications in uh, nano as well which is her hand has roll cakes in it and her forehead has a sweet bun in it i think that's what it was called and uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny to see her getting very shocked. She's like, "Why are you doing this?" And in the like, in, at the end, uh, since she did not give her the uh, sweet bun, uh, she, she goes and gets a bomb kuchen from the refrigerator. And Nano's like, "You could have done that from the beginning. Why are you storing things in me?" <laughs> oh my god! And uh, we also get a session with Sasahara, Sasahara, and I think Misato. That was the name of the girl um where sasahara sasa is an interesting character you know like she he his <laughs> his weird what can i say like you know actions the way he kind of acts as uh you know like some kind of royalty the way he talks and all and uh, you know like uh, how like you know his butler always does everything for him and uh, the way he like you know kind of stirs the milk uh have tea and laughs as well is is it's, it's royalty completely and it, it, it's very nice <laughs> while misato is kind of like that sundre character who i'm i'm pretty sure she she likes him but she she just you know acts as if she doesn't and <laughs> that was like you know the whole thing and uh, yeah that was like you know that was the previous episode let's see what uh, this episode brings what more uh shenanigans we have to see and uh, yeah let's get started this is episode number three of nichi joe so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go <laughs> let's see is there a cat why is it in a cage? It's like a bird cage. What the hell? What the? Did the cat eat the bird's food or something? Takamoto medicine. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, but it's a cat. Yeah. There you go. And it was uh, the second, the second story, yeah, the second floor. Oh, sorry, the first floor, um, not second floor. And I think for a cat, that is a very normal jump. You know, like cats can always, always falls like you know, on their paws. So it's okay. Oh, this cat is a um, professor's cat. Okay. Or maybe she will 
like you know tame it or something like we can see the cat has a little scarf red scarf but the cat still doesn't have that scarf so i'm guessing she's going to tame it or something or make it her pet All right, let's see. <sighs> Mio, okay. Oh yeah, I was also wondering. Just do. Okay. <laughs> Which, okay. Oh my god, she's that friend. <laughs> she's like, I didn't even do it. Why should I go? <laughs> yeah, she's like, no, no need. <laughs> okay, that's me and this is my. <laughs> Completely ignored. Wow. <laughs> what is she sleeping is she sleepwalking she's sleepwalking i think okay <laughs> that cat <laughs> Perfect camouflage. There you go. Now I think she's going to make it her pet or something. Oh, never mind. She's sleepwalking. I'm pretty sure she's sleepwalking. Why? <laughs> Uh, oh, she brought some. Nice. <laughs> wow. I'm pretty sure she's sleepwalking. <laughs> oh. Wow! Oh, the cat is still there. I can see the cardboard box. What the? What? Okay, what, what now? Yes. <laughs> my she even took okay she she ate everything from her <laughs> yeah you don't get it <laughs> what Oh my god. Wow. She buried it. <laughs> she was sleepwalking. <laughs> oh no, never mind. Okay. But why is she, what's her, her eyes closed then? 
<laughs> well, I'm pretty sure she probably heard everything. Oh, the second half she heard. And she heard everything. <laughs> Tanaka. Oh, this guy. <laughs> I don't think it's... It's fine. Oh my god, what's up with putting food in their hair? That's disgusting. Five minutes. All right, need to need to copy it from someone. So, just this once. <laughs> yeah, that happened. So my, but she did she do it? The way she's talking. Uh, I think it's not done. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> what manga is this? <laughs> yeah. What is that? <laughs> oh my god, what what is it this <laughs> it's <a> continuation? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that's not in trouble. <laughs> yeah, your homework. That thing. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> what? Is it something else? Wait, what? Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the randomness. Oh, that girl is there with the bunny ears. <laughs> Wait, what's up with the pen and the... Hmm. Whoa! Oh my god, he's going to choose her. He's going to choose her. That's like the halfway hand raise. Oh my god, what? Ah! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Number five. Oh my god, what is this? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no, the cat is still there. Okay, there you go. Wow, cat is very what can I say? Capable in. Oh my god, her hand is still cramping. Okay, let's see what is it this time. The first one was the flower and then the roll cake. 
Okay. Oh, he, she lost. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, who is it this time? My. Oh, she can do all right. Mm hmm. Eggs. Did she forget? Yeah. Oh my God! What? <laughs> wow. Oh my god, she's going to find the cat now. I feel like this cat was supposed to be like uh, someone else's pet. <laughs> like it was in a house. <laughs> Take care of the professor. Okay. And she's going back, okay. Did, did she bring... Oh my god. The professor herself brought the cat. I found... <laughs> That's not the point here. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. That was a nice... Ah! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay oh my god the cat is getting annoyed i think okay i think this is Oh my god. <laughs> the cat is like, no. What? <coughs> Follow him? <coughs> Who is this guy? Or, or girl? Who is this? Speak? Wait, what? Takamoto, that's his name? Oh, oh wait. <laughs> Can this cat talk now? Uh... <laughs> yeah, she is. Or he, okay, he. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> so, what's, the, what's his name? <laughs> One year. 20 years, wow. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. 
That's a voodoo doll. What? <laughs> What's up with him now? Oh no. Oh no. Who's oh, that guy? The Tengu. <laughs> that guy. Oh, Tengu ni na. Oh my God, the the puns. <laughs> oh, that's a vice principal. Okay. Oh no. They have like a rivalry, I think. Oh my god, it's not though. <laughs> the noise he's making. Oh, she made that promise. Okay. Okay, well, there you go. Best out of three. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, yes, this time it, it's clear. Yeah, let me use 1% of my power now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 5% now, let's. I'll use five percent now. Oh, she's going to use the... Uh, oh my god. Yeah, there you go. Wow. <laughs> He's talking like some kind of final... Oh my god, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, Sakamoto. Oh, is his name still Sakamoto now? I think so. What is she doing? Okay. <laughs> I'm still continuing. I'm still continuing. <laughs> yeah, that's why I lost, you know. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna run now, I think. 23 June. <laughs> what is that thing? I'm curious now. The That thing is like, what thing? Wow, oh my god. <laughs> Hmm. 
Yeah, I feel like this episode was probably the best out of the three. Especially the cat part with Sakamoto and this is the final section. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> Is there something? Oh, there's still something. Okay. Yeah, what happened after that? <clears throat> Another juice. Okay. Okay. Oh wow, that's... Oh nice! <laughs> now he won't be late to school. <coughs> Wait, what did you expect? Masao gets eaten by the tiger? This is... Happy ending, you know? <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait a minute, I think there's like a little wordplay in the end. Last section. Okay. <clears throat> okay, um. Natoki na. Is it. What? Like, I, I understood. I, I'm, I was pretty sure there was some kind of pun or some kind of wordplay when he opened the doll and there was Natto in it. But I wasn't able to understand what it was. I still am unable to understand because I think they tried they tried to actually explain it here. But okay, I still don't understand. Just a second. Um, what does he even say here at the last part? Um, nato kina sit. What does that even mean? Natoki na oh is that like the oh again it's like a sukumi boke okay oh okay okay just a second <clears throat> okay um let me try again uh okay let me hear it again No, these are pretty high level wordplay. I I'm I'm not, not able to understand, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure there was some kind of a punchline, a joke over there, the whole section where uh you know the vice principal asks uh the principal to open it and he opens it and there's Nato in it. There was probably some kind of a uh some kind of wordplay or punchline or something there, which I wasn't able to understand, unfortunately. <laughs> but okay. Mm, all right so this episode uh we start with sakamoto now here's the thing i feel like this cat was like some now the way it starts is kind of weird first of all we see sakamoto in a cage and i think it's a is that a bird cage or what is that there's like food inside it and we could see that the place um has bare minimum stuff there's like some test tubes you could see uh there's a tissue box there are two little uh two books one has like a cat in it there's like a mirror and it's like some some person's house and the cat is eating uh food in the bowl and it's like you know that the cage is on top 
now first of all it really bothers me like i don't know if like you know this first section what was this like you know uh like did the cat get inside the box uh not box sorry cage or was it kept in the cage because okay here's the thing we see sakamoto like looking up and there's like birds outside coming and sitting and sakamoto's like you know kind of banging on the cage yeah and the cage kind of shifts and there's a there's like a little gap sakamoto comes out of there and tries to get grab the bird the bird was on on uh, on the cardboard box where sakamoto ends up landing there and the cardboard box was on the window pane i think that's why it kind of trips and he falls and obviously because he's a cat um okay the the, the box it, it's called sakamoto medicine so i'm guessing it was some kind of a uh, I don't know, but I'm trying to find out, like, you know, who would even get a, keep a cat in, under a cage, like, you know, like that, like, or maybe, maybe, oh, I'm, I'm guessing maybe, like, you know, this, there's someone who probably, like, you know, went somewhere else and didn't have, uh, like, you know, like, much time or something, like, in a hurry, went out and probably just thought that, oh, the cat will probably run away or something, let me just put a cage and put, give food inside, it's probably something like that, yeah, but this cat just, like, you know, just... <laughs> removed like you know kind of moved the cave and just went out jumped on the box trips falls and since he, he's a cat he lands on his uh, legs and the thing falls on top of him and he starts dragging the cardboard box alongside him so it's probably this was some other person's cat um just went out of the window and uh, like yeah just like just leaves and now i'm guessing the owner will probably come back and the person will be like where's my cat now and probably try to find it or something i don't know like <laughs> i feel bad for the owner now <laughs> like the, the cat is like you know like has got like you know like a new family you could say like you know uh, the professor and nano but i feel bad for the <laughs> the other owner who will just come to their house and see that the cat is missing and they'll probably be panicked try to find the cat who knows what's going to happen but yeah all right um now the first section we see um, all right you know what let me bring up the name sheet again uh since i am still making mistakes with the name okay uh all right so the first section we see uh mio mio yeah mio mio and uh, yuko both of them are going to school and mio is like oh i for forgot my math homework let me just go bring it back <laughs> yuko's like ah, i didn't even do it like so why bother just goes to school <laughs> and oh my god yeah oh i like this kind of reminded me of my school days like you know i remember like you know there's Ah, like here's here's the thing like you know we had like a thing where we knew which teachers were strict which teachers were not strict and uh, you know like the teachers who were not that much strict and they gave homeworks and stuff uh half of us was like oh like they gave me a homework uh we didn't do it and uh the, like you know we used to ask others like did you do it and it was like no and when we got to see like this like majority of the class didn't do the homework we were like ah oh, fine it'll be okay <laughs> And there was a few teachers who were extremely strict with it and we definitely had to do the homework otherwise they'd like probably call our parents or something and like that was a nightmare so we used to do their homeworks properly like there was like a vast difference and oh my god like this this reminds me of my school days as well like <laughs> like as soon as she was like like and there was also like in a few of them daredevils who who even never did the homeworks in those teachers classes as well they always used to get punished and i feel like yuko is probably that type of a person like she's like ah oh, like you know i didn't do my homework uh, why bother just let's go to school because i also remember there being students who didn't even bring proper books to the school you know like they just came i don't know why they came why, why they took a back to school because half of the books were missing they just came to school i don't know why and <laughs> just to hang around and uh, yeah that was another thing but yeah like yuko reminds me of that <laughs> who are uh, like that type of a daredevil <laughs> all right now we uh, resume the section where yuko asks about um no yuko meets mine 
and now here's where i thought that my is sleepwalking or something because you know like uh, like i'm pretty sure like you know people cannot sleepwalk like that like you know she actually went and stopped at the traffic light and then went again but i still said she was sleepwalking because this is that type of a show i feel like i feel like even if a meteor falls on this like you know uh show and like in one episode we see a meteor falling from the sky i wouldn't be surprised like this is that type of a show it's so random and it's so like you know just like yeah random like you know random shenanigans so i thought like oh maybe she's sleepwalking like that's just like you know her advanced sleepwalking technique she just w <laughs> wakes up starts walking while sleeping because i thought like you know like you know her eyes were closed and i'm like okay she's probably sleepwalking and uh, <clears throat> so it turns out i was wrong though but still i was kind of close you could say and uh, she was listening to music and yuko uh, just tries to you know like talk with her and she's like oh why are you like you know uh, silent like you know and then okay i feel like this like here she says something which i again feel like there's like some kind of wordplay here she says sasuga scale wa dekai okay yama no yo like a mountain yo yama no yo wait is her no, I thought it's her like, you know, uh, last name Yamano or something, but no, her name is Minakami Mai. So I'm pretty sure there is some kind of wordplay here. Okay, just a second, let me listen to that section again. Korea Moshiya Isasu, Isasu, Aisasu, Horyu Deska, okay. Sasuka scale wa dekai. Yama no yo, yo, yama no yo, ajisu na tokoro yama nan janai desu ka? I have no idea. <coughs> um, no, I, I, I really don't understand this part. Like these are, these are like, you know, some, I feel like some high level wordplay, which I have no idea how this is going. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure she probably made a joke here, which I am unable to understand. It's some kind of wordplay. <clears throat> okay, never mind. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she starts trying to... Okay, and then we got a little section of the professor and Nano going back. And the cat is there in the cardboard box, just over there. Mm. And we resume again with Mai and uh, Yuko. And they are at the traffic intersection. And she's like, oh, I know why you are mad. And she starts talking about all the things that she did. Huh. First of all, the broccoli, which obviously she knew because she said that I took it from you. And she tells how, like, you know, like, uh, I'm sorry about the broccoli. I took it and I thought that you didn't know that you liked it so here we go i brought a broccoli for you and just presents it to him her <laughs> then she, she just goes ignores her and she's like oh maybe it's a cauliflower <laughs> oh no she said like it's not the cauliflower either and brings up out a cauliflower and she is like just thinking she's like why is she so mad and then she's like it's so many things have happened that i can't i don't know which thing she's mad about and then she starts like you know talking about all the things that she did she took his side dish and then she talks about how uh, she took the apple she took the rice she ate the rice and then she talks about i'm sorry i didn't eat the beans <laughs> i don't get it you're not mad about yesterday's lunch okay and then she talks about the big secrets which not even mind you she talks about the uh, uh, statue that she took from like you know her, her desk i think she broke it yeah then she took it home tried to fix it um brought it back to class put it on her desk again unfortunately it was not fixed she took it again tried to burn it and then i think she buried it yeah she then buried it or something and then did she do something else? 
Okay, she burned it. Oh no, she, I think she buried it before. Okay. Yeah, she buried it before. Okay, never mind. She buried it, then she brought it back to her desk, burned it, and that's it. Okay. <laughs> And she knew nothing about this. Mai knew nothing about this. And now she's like, why are you angry? And she takes up the earphone and she's like, oh, I didn't know about the final, <laughs> for the final part. <laughs> Yuko was a little bit relieved because she thought she never heard anything since she had her earphone. But yeah, she has been hearing everything. <laughs> Probably just ignoring her because she was listening to the music. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, everything's out. And my, I'm, I'm pretty sure my is not happy about all the secrets that came out. <laughs> She's not impressed. <laughs> all right, the next part we kind of uh, see the TJ talking to Tanaka about the hairstyle and just bringing out a, I think those are called dorayaki, I think. Yeah, something like that. And uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what's with the hair and food. Like, you know, every time like in the hair, there's like some kind of food. <laughs> but yeah. All right, uh, the next section, uh, Yuko is troubled again. She's like, oh, I didn't do my homework. And she's like, uh, I, I told, I talked to my Mio before, took uh, her homework before, which was the previous episode. So I shouldn't do that now. And she goes to Mai and she's like, can you help me out? Mai just hands her a paper and there's a manga, a complete manga written. <laughs> What's the name of the guy? Uh, Masao, okay, Masao. Like the adventures of Masao where he, unfortunately his dad got laid off, but he, he cannot stop. He needs to go to school. He's late. You know, he's just, just going and then suddenly there's like a tiger or lion or whatever that is. Not a lion, that's a tiger probably. <laughs> and it's chasing him. And <laughs> Yuko's like, Yuko's like, I don't have time for this, but I am interested in this story. And finally, she does, uh, and, and she gives her a lot of, what can I say, like, you know, um, like, she says a lot of things. She's like, oh, I'm going to give you this. I'm going to treat you this. I'm going to give you, like, you know, buy you juice. And she also talks about something from the station. She's going to buy her, all that stuff. So that thing, I don't know what that thing is. Maybe they'll let us know later. Uh, but yeah, then finally, she hands her over a math uh, worksheet. Okay, now this part, I need to check this part again. I didn't understand at that moment what happened so uh, yuko goes she's like all right i'll just copy copy this and all right now the okay i can see the the mark the uh, the worksheet that uh my handed over to her has some trigonometric problems some geometry as well algebra yeah while Okay, the, 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 the one which uh, Yuko has is completely different. And she's like... Okay. Okay, I, I understand now. So basically, she her printout was something that she took a long time ago. So... <clears throat> The recent one was the one that my handed over to her and she's realizing that this is not the one which I have. So she didn't even take the homework with her. She don't, <laughs> she don't have, even have the question paper and something like that happened. Oh my God. So yeah. Okay. So next we see um, my uh, Yuko in the class and there's like uh the teacher was talking about i think like some teaching something on all that and <laughs> here's the like an interesting thing where like, the teacher is like all right like raise your hands and if you don't raise your hand you know you're not and uh, you know like enthusiastic enough or whatever she, he said and yuko tries to kind of like you know kind of slip past it she she kind of did it like this i can kind of like half raised her hand which i remember <laughs> we used to do this as well kind of did it in a weird way so that the teacher doesn't notice it, us but if they notice us you know they would couldn't tell that oh you are not like you know 
eager enough to answer or something like that because we are technically ha holding our hands up <laughs> so she tried to use that technique when the teacher was like all right i'll do it from the like you know the month is this it's 15th or something he said so student number this i'm going to pick and then she's like all right she's the teacher's not going to call me so here we go just put raises her hands up fully and then teacher's like oh the person is absent and she is quick to like you know kind of raise her hand down unfortunately her hands get cramped she is not able to put her hand down <laughs> and the teacher is scanning the whole section who should i pick he tr she tries to get out of the situation unfortunately her hand is still not moving it's 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 cramped so <laughs> she kind of dugs down and her, her stomach rumbles and oh my god it's a mess now here again i feel like there's a lot of section more wordplay okay the, the the afro guy um i think what was his name i forgot uh he says someone's phone is ringing everyone's laughing thanks for calling the other guy says no one has a ringtone like that okay oh my god i i feel like these are some high level unfortunately i was not able to understand the joke here as well damn i feel like i like you know like i i thought like after watching gintama i was a lot versed with the jokes uh like you know these type of jokes where it had word plays and stuff damn this like this show is pretty high level i could see like you know advanced there's a lot of the jokes that i'm unable to understand even though i can understand broken japanese but I am unable to find any kind of yeah like this was also went over my head unfortunately and like you know the teacher like is like oh like you know everyone was smiling or something like uh, something like that and everyone just is looking at him in a weird way just no one's impressed and the teacher is just just stops talking <laughs> awkward moment and unfortunately in the end you know the teacher does choose um yuko when he sees her and still cramped all right and uh, okay then the little like section where the the rock paper scissor this time nana won but her hand came off <laughs> and she lost and this time it was mai who was skipping on the rope and uh, i think she did it pretty well didn't she yeah yeah, she did it pretty well. All right, the final, like, the next section of this, uh, an, uh, like, an episode where Nano goes to the grocery store and uh, she finds the cat. The cat was in the little cardboard box, which kind of gave the impression that the cat is like, you know, left out. Like I've seen this in anime before as well, where you know, like, like we we've seen this in anime, like you know, the cats are in like in a cardboard box and it's written written for adoption or something like that and you know like people if they are able to find the cat they take it Who, whoever wants a cat you know like they take it and adopt it or something like that happens okay so nano finds the cat oh i one thing i was impressed here nano's watch that was impressive it just <laughs> a little digital panel opens up Okay, so Nana's like, oh, I, I should take you, like, I, I want to take you back, but I cannot, like, I already have a person I need to take care of, that is the professor, so unfortunately, I, I won't be able to take care of, you, care of you properly, she kind of pets the cat and goes away, um, buys the grocery, comes back, and sees that the cat is already here, because the professor found her. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I found the cat, you know, like, uh, we'll pet, like, you know, we'll, we'll tame it. And like you know, we'll, it'll be our pet. <laughs> Nano's like, no, like you know, like you know, will you be able to take care of the cat? Because I have a lot of other things to do. I I take care of you, and <laughs> she's like, you'll have to do everything. And like, <laughs> the professor brings out a very good point. She's like, all right, then you know, like I'll do everything, but you won't be able to touch the cat. And like, <laughs> Nano's like kind of like you know, sweating here she's like no i want to pet the cat <laughs> like obviously like you know like if you have a cat and then like you know in, in your in your house and you're not allowed to touch the cat like what type of <laughs> you know what type of punishment is that like what is that 
but yeah the cat kind of goes and does a little like you know kind of rolls around like acts cute as always what cats do and kind of goes on her laps starts sleeping on the lap and everyone's just oh so cute and everyone starts petting the cat <laughs> and uh, for a moment i was like yeah the petting is getting a little a bit out of hand as soon as uh you know uh, the nano i think nano this does that yeah nano grabs a tail i'm like all right like you know like don't grab the tail of the cat like that like obviously cats are don't get impressed whenever you <laughs> touch their tail like yeah they, they they kind of get annoyed but this cat was pretty like you know calm with the tail as well but then they were like you know touching the ears and everything and yeah the cat was like no i'm, I'm not having this just goes <laughs> like it kind of moves from that place looks at them and starts mewing Professor is like, all right, I will bring my um, invention now. Brings a scarf which translates cat language or whatever. And I was really curious. I was like, is, it is the cat really going to talk now? It started talking. Like, successful invention, I guess. You know? uh, <laughs> and the cat starts talking in a, like, you know, like a adult voice. <laughs> the cat is like, what the hell? Like, you know, like... It's okay, like, you know, you're petting, but you've been petting me too much, like, you know, and cats meow when they're hungry, like, I don't know, like, and <laughs> they're like, and I'm calling me Sakamoto because just the, uh, the cardboard box name is Sakamoto, that's, that's not good. And then it's like, you know, how old are you? And we get to know the professor's age here. Uh, I think she said eight or something. Okay, how old are you? Eight years, yeah. So there you go, I was correct, like, you know, the professor is very young and uh, like we can see from, like, you know, her mannerisms and everything, the way she throws tantrum and everything, she is very, like, you know, she's a child. Um, but yeah, she is intelligent and she is like an inventor and she made Nano, which probably means she's like the real deal. She's probably a child prodigy, a child genius or something. Um, so, okay, now Nano's like, oh, I'm one year old because obviously she's a robot. <laughs> the cat is like, ah, I'm, I'm in human years, I'm, I'm 20 years old. Which means she, the cat is also not that much old. Like, human years, he said. Like, you know, that means I'm not sure when, like, I think like two or three year old cat is probably like, a, a, like if you, yeah, it's, it's like human 20 years old or something like that. Like, so... In natural age, the cat is probably two years old or something like that, most probably something. But yeah, he's like, oh, I'm 20 years old in human age. Then you should put a respect on my, like, you know, like, name. Uh, call me Mr. Sakamoto. Uh, don't forget to respect your elders, blah, blah, blah. Just keep talking. And <laughs> then I was like, you know what? Yeah, and picks up the cat and like I'm, I'm going to leave you where you were. <laughs> I'm not having this. <laughs> the cat is like, I'm sorry. Please don't do that. I just <laughs> that was funny. Oh my god. Like I, <laughs> I imagine what would happen if the cat start talking. It'll probably be something like this, you know. Like if your cat starts talking, it'll probably be something like Sakamoto. Like you know, like we always are like, oh, so cute. You know, the cat. Look at the cat. Oh, look at how he's mewing, look at how he's, like, you know, doing these cute stuff. But unfortunately, if the cat is able to express their opinions, it'll probably be like something like Sakamoto. It'll probably start complaining and be like, oh, what the hell are you doing? Like, you know, touching my, like, you know, fur and all these stuff. Like, you know, you don't put respect on my, like, you know, things and all that. Like, that's going to happen. And we are going to, <laughs> our, our reaction would probably be like a nano end. Um, um the professor so yeah <laughs> oh my god all right the next part we see the uh, vice principal and the principal here the principal drops the vice principal drops a voodoo doll and the straw doll and the principal grabs it and oh my god the noises the principal makes are just <laughs> and the vice principal is like open it it's like opens it and it's like a natto and here again i think this was like some kind of a wordplay okay helvetica standard here we see the tengu gets food from the land uh, lady or something and the landlady was kind enough to give and the tengu was like oh thank you so much landlady is like and yeah if you want any other help be sure to say it like and it's like a courtesy you know the, the way people talk 
Uh, it's like a basic form of courtesy. And the Tengu was like, you know what? All right, I'll take your offer up. Um, can you give me some money? <laughs> He's like, don't. Okay, here, here, this wordplay, I think I was able to understand. And she, she's like, uh, the, the Tengu's like, can I get some money? And she says, Anta choto yashasku standa kara. Tengu ni natte janai wai wo. Okay, Tengu ni natte. Okay. So this wordplay I was able to understand because he's a Tengu. You know, that's why she said Tengu ni natte. Yeah, this one I was able to understand. Okay, the final section is. Oh my god, that was hilarious where the, the arm wrestling part. And Yuko acted like, like some kind of shonen protagonist. She's like, all right, let's do it. Like, you know, if, if I'm able to win, you know, the, the, the thing that I'm going to, like, you know, like, you know I was supposed to uh, treat you, like, you know, in, uh, in front of the station or something, like, and that, I, like, you know, that will be canceled. And I don't know what it is, but I'm quite curious. But yeah, my versus uh, Yuko. And uh, Yuko's, like, you know, just is like, all right, let's go. My just completely defeats her she's like oh sorry about that um yeah like you know i was not uh ready or something she said like that and then she's like all right let's go again and again it, it drops her and she's like ah all right like, that was good for a warm-up let's let's get ready for the real battle loses again and oh i looked away then loses again and She's like, then, then there's like this one section where she's like, oh, just a minute. Okay, okay, I understand. I see, I see. So that's what's happening. Like, oh my God. I feel like this was like a whole dig at Shonen, uh, you know, uh, anime where, yeah, this happens, you know, like I've, I've seen so many Shonen animes that does the same thing of like, you know, someone loses and everything. And they're like, all right, let's do this, you know, like properly. I'm going to unleash my power and... Then they're so strong and everything and like it seems as if they're, <laughs> they're like a completely different being and you know like then also these type of things also happen when they're fighting and they're losing and then suddenly something pops up in their hand and they're like all right so this is what is happening okay so if i do it like this then i'm going to win and then they start dominating the other person like this whole thing the thing that yuko was doing that's the shonen formula and uh, <laughs> I love the way she kind of executed that. <laughs> and then she was that one section, she just took off his uh, her thing, the bow or whatever, just throws it to the to Mew and is like, okay, stand, like, you know, just take this, like, you know, like, let me complete, uh, like, you know, the arm wrestling. And uh, yeah, she she's all, acts all cool, gets in and again loses. <laughs> and she keeps doing that <laughs> Mew and uh Mio and Mai was like their faces were like what the hell is happening what is this and in the in the end Yuko was like why are you doing this it's crying and everything she's like why are you so serious about this she just stands up all right let me go to the toilet and it's probably because of that that I lost <laughs> just tries to weasel away of the situation unfortunately uh Mai just grabs her and she's like you better remember your promise. <laughs> a teardrop falls. <laughs> okay, so, and that's where it ends. Oh my god, that was that was hilarious. Oh, and then the final section, the post credit scene, uh, the continuation of the manga. What happened to Masao? And uh, she's like, all right, I'm going to treat you to another drink. So please let me know what happened to him. And there you go, the final section of the manga. Masao rides the tiger to go to school. And uh, I guess that's a good ending. Unfortunately, thankfully, Masao did not get eaten, or did not. It's also not late to school now. That's good. So yeah, and that's where it ends. Really good episode. I'll, I this is probably my favorite episode out of the three. So <laughs> yeah, this is good. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. This was my reaction to Nichijo episode number three. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. And that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next week with another episode of Nichijou. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.